One of the important exceptions to Lewis theory involves incomplete octets. An incomplete octet is when an atom has fewer than eight electrons surrounding it. One of the main elements that tends to form incomplete octets is boron. If we take boron trihydride, or BH3 for instance, a compound which has been known to exist for a long time, and draw its Lewis structure, then we'll get something that looks like this. Notice that in this structure, boron does not have an octet. Normally, to give octets to central atoms, we take lone pairs from the adjacent or bonded atoms and then move them into the bonding region between the two atoms. That usually gives central atoms an octet, but notice that in the case of BH3, uh, this is impossible because the hydrogen atoms lack such lone pair electrons. But what about BCl3, boron trichloride? What about a molecule in which the atoms that are bonded to boron do have lone pair electrons that can be possibly moved into that bonding region between the two atoms. Well, that gives us two possibilities. In the structure on the left, boron has an incomplete octet. And in the structure on the right, boron has an octet. In giving boron an octet, we've actually given the boron atom a positive, or excuse me, a, a formal negative charge, and we've given the chlorine atom a formal positive charge. Now, the main thing that's wrong with this Lewis structure here on the right is that chlorine is a pretty electronegative atom. So it's really not likely to assume a, a formal posi positive charge because this uh, atom is so electronegative. So that, that brings us, you know, with a dilemma. Do we incomplete the octet but then have all the formal charges satisfied? Or do we complete the octet and give an electronegative atom a formal positive charge? And this question is not very uh, easily answered. Um, you know, we're, we're pushing the, the limits of Lewis theory when we, when we ask these questions. Um, so the best way uh, to back up either of these two structures is just with uh, good hard experimental evidence. Um, it turns out that the structure that has the incomplete octet is the preferred Lewis structure. It's the most commonly accepted structure. Um, but one little caveat here. The, bor uh, the boron-chlorine bond in BCl3 actually might be shorter than expected, and this is according to experimental evidence. Um, so while this is the accepted structure, this structure may have a, a small contribution uh, to the overall molecule. So it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not so black and white. Um, when you use dots and lines to describe uh, chemicals and molecules and stuff like that, you know, you, you can't nail everything. So, all right, good luck.